Space Research Organization, ISRO, may not be famous across the world, but ISRO's success in space is remarkable. ISRO has groundbreaking success of Mangalion, the first ever Asian country and also the first space agency to reach Martian orbit in its first try. ISRO is one of the most ambitious space agencies in around the world. What are those ambitious plans? <laughs> In the 15th of August 2018, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said, In 2022, our country is going to launch the Gaganyaan mission, India's first crewed space mission. It will be a three-person flight that will help our nation achieve its dream of being a superpower in space. ISRO is the acronym for Indian Space Research Organization. It was formed in 1969 and became operational in 1972. The organization operates under the Ministry of External Affairs and is headquartered in New Delhi, India. It conducts space and atmospheric-related research and development activities, provides space technology applications to national needs and performs space scientific experiments. Unlike any space agency, ISRO also has success and failures, but still ISRO has one of the most impressive and successful track records when it comes to launching satellites into space. Now let's move to our main topic, Gaganyaan. Gaganyaan, meaning sky craft is an Indian crewed orbital spacecraft intended to be the formative spacecraft of the Indian human spaceflight program. The spacecraft is being designed to carry three people and a planned upgraded version will be equipped with rendezvous and docking capability. In its maiden crewed mission, Indian Space Research Organization largely autonomous 5.3 metric tons capsule will orbit the Earth at 400 kilometers altitude for up to seven days with a two or three person crew on board. The first crewed mission was originally planned to be launched on ISRO's GSLV Mark III in December 2021, but this has since been delayed to no earlier than 2023 due to the pandemic. Does this meant that ISRO had given up? Never. The powerful rockets among ISRO is the GSLV rocket. GSLV is a three-stage heavy lift launch vehicle developed by ISRO. The vehicle has two solid strap-ons, a core liquid booster and a cryogenic upper stage. Thus, this would be modified with an orbital module at the top, where astronauts stay. The modified GSLV then would be labeled as HRLV, that is human-rated launch vehicle. The HRLV is so powerful that it could separate the orbital module in just 16 minutes from the time of launching. The orbital module consists of two parts, crew module and the service module. Gaganyaan crew module is a fully autonomous 5.3-ton spacecraft designed to carry a three-member crew to orbit and safely return to the Earth after a mission duration of up to seven days. The crew module is equipped with two parachutes for redundancy, while one parachute is good enough for safe splashdown. The space capsule will have life support and environmental control systems. It will be equipped with emergency mission abort and a crew escape system that can be activated during the first stage or second rocket stage burn. Simply, it's where the astronauts will stay. service module consists of variety of support systems like engine, the solar panels, etc. The service module propulsion system will help in orbit raising maneuver of Gaganyaan to reach 400 kilometers in low Earth orbit and remain connected during deorbit burn until atmospheric re-entry. Reports indicate that the Indian media has branded its astronauts as Vyamanauts, a word derived from the Sanskrit language. I am extremely sorry for the wrong pronunciation. Though the spacecraft is designed to carry three people, it is likely that the first flight will carry one person only. An illustration of those Viamanots are shown here. 
Look how he's hovering in space. They are now testing the modules of this mission and had even created their own robot biometra to know the human feelings in the Gaganeon module. ISRO aims not to fly animals on board experimental missions unlike other nations that have carried out human space flight. Instead, it will fly humanoid robots for a better understanding of what weightlessness and radiation do to the human body during long durations in space. The overall budget for this mission is around $1.77 billion, that's about 12,400 crore rupees. India has already successfully developed and tested several building blocks, including re-entry space capsule, pad abort test, safe crew ejection mechanism in case of rocket failure, flight suit developed by Defense Bioengineering and Electromedical Laboratory, DEBL. The upper module of the GSLV would be modified and would be labeled as orbital module.